So I started this company basically just on the idea of where we are right now, a time where we all can use a little more joy and cheer in our life and surround ourselves with things that are really comforting. And to me, that's a cookie. With COVID, like so many people, I lost my job. When I was let go, it was kind of like, okay, now what am I gonna do? I hunkered down in my test kitchen and, and made a lot of good cookies and made some not so good cookies. And uh, you know, my immediate quarantine crew, my family loved it because they got to try all the cookies, which was really fun. And that was really the moment where I realized I'm gonna do this. So my production kitchen is at Vula's Offshore Cafe in North Lake. The kitchen has been fantastic because they're really a breakfast place. And so I am able to come in after hours and develop all my recipes, uh, produce all the cookie dough. I make cookies in small batches. So we're maybe making 50 cookies in a batch. Everything is made fresh to order. We use pure vanilla, really good chocolate, real butter, real cane sugar. It's expensive, but I think it's worth it. And I think when you use really good ingredients, the rest speaks for itself. That looks just perfect. Gotta get every little bit. I went to culinary school, so I'm professionally trained in the kitchen. When it comes to developing recipes, especially cookies, I find that I'm actually quite creative. And so for example, I'm just recently developed an eggnog doodle because I love eggnog and tis the season. And so it's fun to go in the kitchen and use that idea of a flavor profile that mimics the season at hand. And then how can I create that in a cookie that looks like this, tastes like this. It has to have a little bite around the edge, but it has to have texture. So I want to bite through something and then I want to land on pillowy, chewy deliciousness. I could be a little OCD, <laughs> but I'm okay with it. I'm kind of proud of it. It just means I care. So what I do afterwards is I go through and I dot them with chocolate chips if they don't have chocolate enough on top. I want every single person that tries my cookie to have a perfect cookie. I grew up obsessed with cookies. Since I was a little child, I remember telling my parents, one day I wanna have a cookie shop. And so I think about that and I'm like, this is really full circle. I think what keeps cookies interesting for me is the continuous response of joy that I get from those that receive my cookies. The people that reach out to me and share these wonderful stories of how they've been able to share a cookie with their 100 year old grandmother that they can't physically touch and see um, is really special. And that just keeps me waking up every morning at four in the morning and going until 10 at night. It really is, it's just incredible. I can't explain that feeling. Learn more about Cookies with Tiffany at cookieswithtiffany.com.